Hi guys. So, um, I decided I finished this blanket. Um, this is a cross stitch, back stitch, satin stitch, uh, and I think some French knots in here as well. But I finished this blanket after six months. And I think it took me about six and a half months. And I wasn't actually, I haven't, I just kind of folded it up and kind of stored it, but I haven't washed it um, to get the blue dyes underneath uh, all of the stitching to get that out. But this has been finished. And so I thought that I would um, kind of make a video about it. And um, I'm starting another blanket. And I wanted to kind of log my journey for my new blanket um, so I used it from I stitched this one from an actual kit um, by Budilla and so this is how it's supposed to look and for the most part I think I did pretty good I also the back of it which is what I haven't figured out but the back of it this is how it looks on the back so the pattern kind of goes through to the back as well it doesn't look too, too messy. There's a couple of knots, which I really don't like doing knots like that. I like to finish my stitches a different way, just by kind of weaving it back through and underneath. So this is what it looks like at the back. But I finished this one, and it took me six and a half uh, months to do this one. I think I still actually have a lot of the threading kind of still left over pattern but this one's done so I definitely after taking so long to do that one I kind of just jumped back in it I didn't really take a break and for this next quilt I wanted to, to log the journey so here's the next quilt um, it's it's a lot bigger than the last quilt, so it'll probably take me a little longer than six and a half months. But this one, I've already started on it, uh, and usually I go color by color, and I usually start with all of the cross stitching colors first, and then um, I just go color by color. So I've already started this one, and for this one, I actually started a new technique. So the back side, there's a couple, <laughs> there's a couple where I was still doing the old technique, where I was actually going through the uh to the back side but then i learned a different way to do it in which so like here's what i've been working on at this point this area right here and the back side of it though completely for the most part bare well, yeah i think this probably has to be cut and this has to be cut but the um the actual threading this is a finishing thread and it needs to be cut because I kind of probably pulled it through in the middle of it and then this is where I came out at but when you cut this off and then you cut this out now you don't see anything so I started this maybe uh, maybe about a month ago. <laughs> I don't stitch as much as I should, but I started and see these probably need to be cut too. But I started with this technique and then I decided to transition and see if I could do it to the point where you don't see any pattern on the back. So the rest of this one is probably going to be done that way. Um, it's easy. I thought it was going to be hard, but it's actually pretty easy. And I'll probably show you guys. A little clip of me probably finishing up this section I have to clean my hands or wash my hands first before I uh, start that part of it um, I just kind of wanted to show you the layout and this one has so many different threads I think it was like 40 different threads actually so this is from a kit as well this is from Kit, and this is how it will end up looking but it has so many different threads and so usually before I start I go through and I actually do use these cards and kind of just label everything um, all the colors are inside of here I separate everything and I don't cut it in half like most people do I, I just don't do that um, I actually keep the entire yard like everything 
and I, I just take my thread from there. I'll probably show you guys how I do that as well. But it has two different things, two different cards, and I also kind of like label when I start something. I don't know if you can see it's like really blurry. But I, yeah, there it is. But I, I label like when I start a stitch. I label the cards. I label everything. That way I know how long it has taken me. So I'm pretty organized. Um, but yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my hands. I did my makeup, and so I have like mascara and all of my nails and everything. So I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you guys, or me at least, finishing up this um, yellow area. And these are just half stitches. So they're not even like full cross stitching. They're just half cross stitches, which pretty much goes very fast. Um, so yeah, so stitches, and then I will give you guys an update once um, probably a month or so goes by. Okay, so I have my thread, and it is where I threaded it through the needle. This is the whole long piece. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm a little lazy about that. I don't like cutting it and having and constantly having to re-thread. So this is just kind of my way of doing it. But the method that I chose to use is you actually go in from the top part. And you don't go through. Like you just you just don't go through the back part. So this is if I went through, but I'm not going to go through, I'm just going to kind of keep it this way. And you kind of angle your needle upward, I hope you guys can see it, and you just kind of go through this, the top part, you pull the thread through, And straighten it out and then when you get to this part you literally just kind of put the needle through the loop I hope you guys can see it put the needle through the loop and then you pull it and when you get to this part you literally just kind of pull on it and then you go back through this hole the, f the first one that you were in and you go to the next stitch and the whole time you're just kind of, looks a little blurry, but the whole time you're just kind of making sure that you don't go all the way through to the back part. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a couple rows and I'll just show you how I um, just kind of stitch this one, it's this new method. I was never really taught how to stitch, I just kind of taught myself through the years. So I am not a professional, this is just uh, something I do as a hobby. Sorry, some other thread got into there. <laughs> This method is also a lot easier because you can kind of just seamlessly, seamlessly um, stitch. Whereas you don't have to, when you go all the way through the fabric, it kind of like slows you down. 
And this method is just a way that you can kind of just kind of keep it going. I'm sorry it's blurry. I wish it wasn't, but my camera's not focusing the way I need it to. So this is pretty much finishing up this row and I will come back and show you guys once I finish the whole area and just the back side of it and how it looks um, and how this method can kind of help a lot of people for after they finish they may not want to try to figure out how to cover the back or they may not want to frame it they may want to give the blanket to someone and this is just a way of being able to do that and not having to find or figure out how to cover up the back part. Alrighty. Okay, so I am getting to the end of um, this section and I have just a few more stitches to go. Uh, I did have to re-thread. I ran out of thread. So I just had to do it once. Uh, if I had cut my thread in half, I would have probably had to do it two more times. Um, I'm going to finish off these uh, stitches real quick and then I'm going to show you guys how I end it and I'm sorry this keeps getting blurry the camera is not trying to help me today a little movement and it's out of focus These are just half cross stitches, so it's a lot faster. These you have to kind of be like really efficient with. You don't want to waste any thread really. Alright, and looks like this one right here is going to be the last stitch. And this is how I end it. So I kind of run it in between underneath several other stitches. Pretty much as kind of far as I can go, just kind of in between the middle part of the front part and then of the back part. And then I kind of tilt my needle upward and then stick it through the back. And this is kind of what it looks like. And just run it through. Sorry, 
I always lose my scissors. <laughs> and then I take my scissors. And I just cut that part. Okay. And see? You can see where well, this is. I have to cut this one. This is the last one I have to grab. But as you can see, this new method is a lot better. You have nothing on the back side. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I like it because I like my craft and needlework to be as neat and tidy as possible. And then on this side. Where you have all the work at. So that's where I'm at with this blanket and I will come back to you guys and show you some updates. I've already gone through two colors. This is the third color that I'm doing as far as the cross stitching and the uh, half cross stitch. And so once I go on to my next colors and I'll probably give you guys an update. Uh, once again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is my first time trying this out. And uh, I just thought that maybe some other people might need some encouragement on sticking with the blankets and sticking with the cross stitching because it isn't something that most people do. So, bye for now.